I think, like most Edmontonians, I'm in love with the River Valley and really invested in making sure we have it for a really long time and that it's safe and that people can access it for a really long time. Edmonton's River Valley is one of the biggest urban parks in Canada. It has more than 160 kilometres of pathways and parks. As a wildfire continues to rage in Jasper National Park, many wonder, could it happen here? Seeing fires uh, within the region, uh, across the province, it has been incredibly alarming. Um, you know, our smoke-filled summers uh, are a constant reminder that we have to be uh, prepared and ready for fires. I walk through there twice a day with my dog, and you know, I marvel at just how many, how much deadwood that there is down there, and how much fuel there is on the ground. The city of Edmonton says they're on it. They remove hazards like some dead wood and debris and they study the nature of each neighborhood. The areas that are higher risk in the city of Edmonton are those um, tree stands. They're actually along the Anthony Hende in the northwest. They're like black spruce, they're really dense, there's a lot of trees that have died. So those are our higher risk areas from a fuel standpoint. The sap of black spruce and other coniferous trees burns very quickly. The fire spreads easily from treetop to treetop. That's what happened in the north and west of the province. Guess what? Edmonton doesn't have a lot of evergreen trees. It has more leafy or deciduous types like aspen, poplar, birch, and they don't burn as easily. Another thing that matters, what's on the ground. All year long, city crews assess Edmonton's natural areas for fire hazards. Do they find deadwood? Yes, but let me show you what else they find. In here, there's lots of debris on the ground. Some dry sticks, sure. Others, debris that's decomposing. And what that means is that it's holding in the moisture, which can actually prevent the fire from spreading so quickly. When it comes to what sparks a fire, experts say they're not as worried about lightning as they are about people. This cyclist came across a small fire near the Walterdale Bridge. I was riding home one night and uh, yeah, came across a fire in its kind of starting form and yeah, made the call and they were down here within three or four minutes. All things considered, ecologists say chances of a runaway fire here are lower. The fires that start, you know, in the boreal forest, um, they can go for days without anyone seeing them versus here, there's people everywhere. So the detection is going to be that much quicker. We also will have faster response times from fire rescue services. Edmonton is strengthening its fire strategy to help respond to hard to access areas. What we're trying to achieve is to become a wildfire resilient city. And to do that, it means you need to understand how to live with wildfire. So preventing it as much as possible, but also being prepared for it. As summers get hotter and drier, fires can happen anywhere, including here. Natasha Reeves, CBC News, Edmonton.